So after Hutch pushed the track rotations early last week, we're back with another quick track rotations video. The best strategy that you're gonna need to complete S10, S11, and S12. We're gonna be talking through your setups and your drivers that you want to use in the following series. Obviously, track maps are available if you become a member or even if you watch our GP videos. So make sure to come and watch the GP videos. You'll learn some strategies very, very quickly. We might even give you a little bit of a taster later on to know what you wanna use. But let's take a look. So we are gonna start with series 10 now. That's a little sneak peek. Series 10 was before tire management. That is no longer the case. Series 10 has now moved to speed. So series nine is speed, and now series 10 is speed as well. In here, you've got Vegas, Jeddah, China, and also Spielberg, Austria as well. So series 10, all out speed attack, pretty much now required now the thing to remember with speed in series 10 this is what pretty much the ai runs so you're pretty much looking at balanced setups starting with the red bulls at around 166 for speed all the way down to 117 being the lowest rated car so when you come to build your all out speed setup do take that in mind because if you've got over 166 speed then you potentially need to start adding some qualifying because it's only going to be your opponent, real player or bot, that might change how you perform. So in to Series 10, what are we recommending, first of all? If we go and take a look, this is our Series 10 setup. You can see my levels will be very different potentially to yours, so you will see a lower number of values compared to what we have. But this is the real setup that you need to base it around. We've got Stormbringer, Surge, Aeroblade, Turbojet, Hustle, and Mad Dash. Now, Mad Dash is not a speed part. As you can see, it's all about power unit, but it holds really good qualifying. So again, because we're over that speed that we need, we've added Mad Dash. We could go and add some Juggernaut. We could go and add Mac Free. We don't need it. If you've got it, great. But I am taking good qualifying. I'm going to start near the front and you will do the same, hopefully. Drivers-wise, though, Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo in Series 10. Both RB, big and small, but great in different elements. So we've got good tyre management, decent race start, decent defending for Yuki Tsunoda, whereas tyre management for Ricciardo is not too bad. He's got good qualifying, good overtaking as well. Yuki Tsunoda will start further back, but your car is going to be a little bit faster than the AI, which is going to be strong. Qualifying for Ricardo, his prominent feature, going to need a small race start boost for him. But they would be the two drivers that I go to. You've also got Gasly, who is not a bad option as well. Series 11, moving on quite swiftly. Or shall we give you a sneak peek? What do we have in Series 10? Let's go Ultimate. Austria, China... Vegas and Jeddah. Hmm. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Let's be very nice to you because that's what we're all about. Austria, there is your strategies. Defending drivers and speed. We've got some beautiful strategies in there for you to follow. If you're champions and contender, obviously, really, you're looking at that number one strategy. Four soft, four soft, two soft, or a five medium, five medium in there. We can move on to China. We have got three soft, four medium, four medium, three soft up at these levels as well. We then move on to what is our other one? Vegas. Here we go. Three soft, three medium, or three soft, three soft, three medium, three medium, or either all is the strategies that you need around here. Some good boost selections down below for you too. And then finishing off with Jeddah, which we should have in here as well. There you go. Free soft or mediums to run at the front. Watch out for temperature in case it's a little bit hot with your boost selection in there as well. So let's talk then on to series 11. So series 11 then, old, was pretty much about the speed. Yes, series 11 was nice and easy. It is now changed. It has got a lot more difficult. The new series 11 is all about 
overtaking. So overtaking drivers now required here in series number 11. So two power unit tracks, one speed, one cornering. So you need to build that base on power units. Now, series 11. This is what your average car does run in terms of AI. Top to bottom, Red Bull down to whoever, Williams, let's say. Kick Sauber. Probably done a bit of disrespect to Williams there. Sorry, folks. 184 speed, 187 cornering, 185 power unit is the best AI car in here. And anywhere around that mid 160s, you're going to be absolutely fine. Again, it's going to really depend on the levels that you really do have. Now, if we go and have a look at a recommendation for Series 11, we've got Alex Albon because he's very well rounded. He's got okay overtaking, defending, qualifying very good, race start is good, tyre management does let him down. So just be careful on that tyre management. Obviously, mine are decent level. Perez, level six, again, race start pretty challenging his qualifying is not amazing either but his tire management his overtaking is really good too so i mean overtaking is going to make perez fly and if you can get him off to a decent race start he will be a very good useful driver in series 11 there is other drivers obviously that you can use but science is not great on tire management so gasly can be okay not great on tire management either so even though it's overtaking i do like to carry a decent tire management the car though a lot more trickier to set up. So what we've done, obviously level dependent for you at home as well. We've tried to really prioritize two setups. It's the power unit because there's two tracks. And then we've gone for cornering as the second option. The third option of speed is kind of reduced. You're going to struggle at the speed track unless you can completely balance your setup. So really, I'm giving you 50% of your tracks, power unit, you want power unit as your best stat. Cornering, we're still going to be very competitive when you look at the Series 11 look. You can see we're going to be in that top six, top eight, I would say, pretty much. And then speed, we're just going to struggle. If you can get it more balanced, go for it. But this is a very rough setup guide that you want to be following in Series 11. What, though, strategy maps do we have that we can give you for series 11 obviously we don't need Jeddah, so we can take that away we'll see what we've got so we've got a power unit track in brazil and looking at the first driver and second driver champions contender run free soft free soft free soft and a five medium four medium is very possible around this circuit or five hard four medium obviously you've got your attack and defend options in the corner with the boosts down below we then have got a bit of Canada. So again, you can do a free soft, free soft, two soft, and a four medium, four medium here in series 11. We've got a bit of Bahrain, which is your second power unit circuit. So you've got a one stop again, free soft, four medium, four medium, free soft. Really, you want to be pushing your drivers with the boosts available down the bottom. And then we have got, which I don't think I've been through yet, China. And again, one stop again for this one. Free soft, four medium, four medium, free soft up in this series. A lot of boosts, as you can see down below, available for you to use. So let's move back on to series 12. What is now series 12 going to look like? So series 12 was, before, all about overtaking. Overtaking was now Series 12. It was now, or is, in Series 11. So it's moved backwards. But what does it hold for Series 12? It is now all about cornering here in Series 12. So forget what you had before. You want a cornering setup in Series 12. Let's take a look, though, of the stats of the AI. So they're going to be running balanced setup from Red Bull down to Kicksalber. They have got 211 as the max cornering in Series 12, and you're roughly averaging around about 193, 198 required to be very competitive in this, without obviously using boosts too. It just depends on who you get. So looking at that middle column, 211 all the way down to 166 in Series 12. But who do you need? What do you want to use in Series 12? Again, level dependent, but let's go into your car setup first of all. This is what we are running. So this is my GP setup in Series 12. It is predominantly cornering based. It's not max cornering, but we have gone for a nice steady setup and 113 qualifying, which is going to promote us up the grid. Now you can go even further with that and go even higher out there. 
because you could use other options out, but we don't want to. We want to focus on having decent cornering. We're going to be ahead quite comfortably, look, of the AI cars, 211. What's the point of wasting cornering? We're going to take more qualifying. This will destroy any AI. It's going to be all about matchmaking and who we face from the opposition. But if you prioritize a bit of qualifying in there, you're going to find yourself nearer the front. You may not need to go through the cars as much. Drivers, my go-to, Fernando Alonso. Very, very all-rounded in terms of his stats, as you can see. Good levels, of course, but again, he don't really struggle too much in terms of his overall stats. Lando Norris, again, another all-rounded driver. Not the best on tyres or overtaking, but he's defending, he's qualifying, and his race start is very, very decent as well. So they would be the two drivers that I'd be picking. Series 12 is probably a bit more about qualifying and race start in itself because qualifying does really help you get through quicker. In terms of Series 12, let's go and give you a quick flash of the strategy area and show you what strategies to follow in the cornering circuits. So as this loads up, finally, we'll pick up Monaco. Four soft, four medium. Pretty much for both cars, you can run 4 medium, 4 medium if you wish. Obviously, we've got the boost selection available to you as well and where to push, attack, conserve in the corner. We then have a bit of Barcelona. Do I have Barcelona in here yet? I actually don't, which is a shame. But Barcelona, you want to be running a 4 soft, 5 medium, 5 medium, 4 soft. And a quick note, I will add Barcelona into this clip so that you can see it. But when I recorded it, it wasn't there. It was disappeared. And so was Singapore. So Singapore, I do like a 2 soft, 2 medium, 2 medium. And or you can use a 2 medium, 2 medium, 2 medium. All six laps, remember, for Singapore. Some very good chances for some points. Zanvoort we do have. And Zanvoort currently 4 medium, 4 medium is the strategies that you want to take with your boosts. And then the track map in the very top right. So there's some great strategies for you to follow in this video. And hopefully it's going to help you massively. We are giving you the full Series 10, 11, 12 guide with the trap maps to complete it off and the setups that we recommend. I really do hope that they do help you. We've got around two weeks until the track rotations change again around the 14th to the 15th of August when we'll be back to do it all over again.